Chapter 67, The Lieutenant's Puzzle. Mrs. Drinker comes to me. She takes that saw, throws it on the low shelf, like a log onto a fire. It clatters, bounces. I put my hands on my ears. She covers her face, bends forward. Her body shakes. She is squeaking, crying. She says, no. She says that over and over again. Matt cries, no, mom. I look at his face, white, scared. He says, stop it, stop, mom. Mrs. Drinker shakes her head. She cries. My God, Maddie, oh, Maddie, what did you do? And then I just know, something I do not want to know. I push back on it, hard. I say, oh no, he could not. They could not, no. It's all right, it's all right, no, no. And I can't stop. And as soon as I am saying is, and soon all I am saying is the same thing Mrs. Drinker is saying, no, no, no. Then I see the cruiser pull into the Drinker's driveway, blue and white, sick blur. I see the officer. I see Corey McSpirit go to him. Feels like I am right beside him. I see the side of Corey's face wet face. I see what he says, so clear, so slow. Corey says, they told me they did it. I push words out of my throat. I say, they couldn't have meant it. How could they know such a bad thing would happen? You can't know what you don't know. The officer comes closer. There is another cruiser in the driveway. My eyes go wild, like they are shooting side to side in my head, and all I see I see all around the drinker's garage, all the walls, all blurs and smears, white flashes of windows. Dark streaks in all corners. I can't stop it. I see swishes of people, some moving, some close, closer. I say, but they are kids. We are all just kids. There is a tug in my guts. I close my eyes. I am dropping. I am gravity. Going down. And I want to go. I want to be low. Then I am wrapped in huge arms, bigger than my own. Strange sound in my ear. I hear the voice say, Mason. Oh my God, Mason, I am sorry. I am so sorry. The arms grow tighter. The voice goes to a whisper. Who? I am trying to think, who has this voice? I know it, but not this way. I know something hard, but this is soft. I open my eyes. The lieutenant, he has, he has me like a cradle. Then I know it, I am getting sick. I turn to let it out. He holds me while it all comes up. He won't let go. I choke and I tell him, they didn't know, they couldn't know. I wrap my fingers tight on his arm. I grip his sleeve. I can, I can hear me, like some huge wounded wild thing. I hear me crying. I say, nobody, nobody meant to kill Benny Kilmartin. 